Evening guys, hope you're having an amazing day. It is Ping here. Today I am in Fethier and it is our last day here in Fethier and I saw that there was a McDonald's in Fethier and I've never seen a McDonald's in Turkey before so you know that I have to try it out but before we go to McDonald's there's one stop that I want to make so let's go eat there first. So the stop I actually wanted to make is right behind me. It's the Fethier bazaar the market and i thought that you know maybe at the market there would be something to eat you know like in southeast asia but uh there's literally nothing to eat <laughs> wow i am very disappointed but uh let's go get some food at mcdonald's We've come to McDonald's and I have to say first impression is that there's not a lot of variety when it comes to food here at McDonald's but I will say they do have Turkish tea and it's literally a lira 50. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's good. I would say that the menu is pretty standard. It's pretty similar to what they have in the US. Not a lot but there are some unique items which is what I said to go for. First they have a fry. It's some seasoned buff talik fry, something like that. I'm not sure what its seasoning is, but let's try it out. Mm. That's like a like a spicy, a little bit like a spicy fry mix to it. Oh yeah, I like that. It's got like some Turkish spices to it. Really, really salty, as McDonald's fries should be, but really, really delicious, really good. Fries are crispy as usual. Now, I got four burgers. I got the kofte burger. I got the daba daba, which is some sort of chicken thing. I'm not too sure. I got the double McChicken and I got some chicken nuggets. And there's also ketchup here, so I better open that up. Let's first try the chicken nugget. Mm. Nothing special about the chicken nugget. I would say roughly the same as the chicken nuggets in the United States. Not much difference there. It's a little bit actually dry, but uh, yeah, not much difference. You're not missing out if you're getting the chicken nuggets here in Turkey. Let's try the double nut chicken with some mayonnaise inside. This looks like it's gonna be good. Chicken is juicy, lettuce, mayonnaise, but yeah, the chicken is really peppery and it's really juicy and it's a very thin layer, thin patty of chicken. The batter is even thinner. Right, that's a that's a pretty good uh, double McChicken if you ask me. The right, next one we have, let's try the Kofte burger. Now it looks kind of similar to just a normal hamburger, but as you can tell, the top bun has some seasoning on it. I'm not sure what seasoning. I think it's some just herbs, like some oregano. It's got some lettuce and it's got two kofte patties inside. Let's try this out. Kofte burger, you must try. It's got that kofte smoky flavor that you get when you're getting like kofte ekmek here in Turkey. I wouldn't say it's as good as a kofte ekmek, like if you really want kofte, go and get it somewhere. But uh, I think it does justice to what a uh, kofte is. It is really, really good. Uh, the beef itself is a little bit juicy actually, but the charredness, that sort of grilled flavor, which kofte is famous for, if you've seen all my videos, that grilled flavor, that really smoky, fiery flavor, I think the burger does a good job of encapsulating that. So. Yeah, this is a really, really good burger. On the outside, it looks like a really plain, normal hamburger, but oh yeah, the smokiness of the uh, kofte definitely there, definitely hits the spot. All right, next one, let's try the daba daba. 
chicken burger. I have no idea what Dubba Dubba means, but uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm not exactly sure what Dubba Dubba means, but to me, this is not that different from the Double McChicken. I will say, the Double McChicken is a little bit thicker in terms of chicken patties. This one is a very, very, very thin chicken patty, but I don't know why it's called Dabba Dabba. But yeah, it's nothing extraordinary, I would say. It's it's a pretty standard double chicken patty burger. You got that sesame bun on the top, mayonnaise inside. The chicken's all right, it's not particularly juicy, but I just don't know what Dabba Dabba means, so I can't maybe tell you exactly what it's doing. But I will say, out of all the McDonald's items, fries, they're seasoned fries, really, really good. A little bit spiciness, it's got that Turkish spice going on. Kofta burger is great. It's got that smokiness, charness. It doesn't look great on the outside, but the bread itself, toasted with that seasoning on top, the beef, super, super tender and really, really smoky. Chicken nuggets, chicken burgers, they're all right. They're not really specialties of Turkey. And surprisingly, that's all they really have that's unique on the menu here at McDonald's. So I didn't really get that much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go get more food. Honestly, I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed with McDonald's here in Turkey. Compared to McDonald's in Asia, there's not that many unique items. The only unique item I can think of is the Kofte burger and the Daba Daba chicken, which the Daba Daba chicken was pretty ordinary to me. There was nothing very unique or special about it. The Kofte burger was good, but like that was the only thing that really stood out to me. The fries were also good. The seasoning on the fries was a little bit of that spicy hint some of those Turkish spices and I guess the Turkish tea was also nice but other than that everything to me was pretty ordinary there was nothing really standing out nothing really special to me but uh I'm still a bit hungry so let's go see if we can get more food Next stop we've come to is a place known as Island Cafe and keeping with today's themes of unhealthy food, we've got a fried fish sandwich, also known as a Bali Ekmek. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some lemon, squeeze it on top of the fish. I mean, this smells so good. It just smells crispy, oily goodness. You can see it's stuffed with lettuce, onions, tomatoes. I'm really excited about this. Let's give this a shot. That is probably one of the best fried fishes I've ever had in my life. I know I'm saying that a lot in Turkey, but this is comparable to that fried fish I had in Chanakale. You know that fried sardine? It's literally on par. It's so airy on the inside. The batter itself, really, really light, really, really thin layer. Fish is super, super fresh. Like, Really, really fresh. You got some pepper on the batter. Really, really thin, nice, super, super crispy layer. But it's so, so thin. The fish itself, I mean, fantastic. The fried fish with just the meat of the burger. Wow. Let's talk about the bread. The bread is so, so nice and fluffy. Other times, like when I've had Bali Ekmex, or Ekmex in general, it's a little bit hard to bite in. They're really, really tough and really, really difficult to bite through. This one is so, so soft. It's so fluffy. I mean, just biting in, it's like biting through a cloud and then you have this delicious fried fish layer on the inside. Vegetables are really, really fresh with that lemon sauce, gives that zest, that freshness. Oh yeah, this is probably one of the best fried fish sandwiches I think I've ever had. Thank you very much. Everything is you like. We have a good fish and chips. Is a who you want to try? Uh, we will wait to hear. Is ILM Cafe best fish and chips? But not I tell you. Everybody people told about fish and chips or fish patty. Thank you very much. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, he's actually the awesome, the nicest owner, and the food is just outstanding. It is delicious. It that fried fish. I don't think I've had fried fish that good, like I said, since Chanakali. It's probably just right on par with that. Really, really delicious, super friendly people. Now, I saw a very unique dessert store just around here somewhere, so let's go check that out. Oh, 
all of a sudden you put it together. Oh, okay, that sounds really good. Okay. For something sweet today, we've come to a shop known as Hachi Serif. And I just walked by and I realized this shop has been open since 1938. That's like almost what, over 80 years that it's been open, which is crazy to imagine. Um, but it's just currently being run by I think this couple. And I got this thing called a Semolina Helvasi with Dondurma. Dondurma is ice cream and Helvasi is that sort of like warm texture thing. So what's really unique about it is that you have this warm layer of semolina and on the bottom you have cold ice cream. It's gonna be really really good. And of course we gotta have some Turkish tea. But this shop is also famous for a lot of the desserts. They have like chocolates inside. They have all these different Turkish desserts but they recommended me this one and I mean just the smell. I mean if you love semolina you're gonna love the smell of this. Let's get some of that Turkish tea. Let's get some sugar. They even have a wooden spoon. I've never seen a wooden spoon for the Turkish tea and they have a little wooden saucer for you. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Oh. That's why I love Turkey. Turkish tea on a cold night, warm Turkish tea, that's, that, that's just perfect. All right, let's dig into the Helvasi, I mean, Wow, you can see how thick the layer of Helvasi is and on the bottom you can see the oozing vanilla dondurma. I'm just gonna see if I can dig up some of that ice cream. Oh my god. Wow, look at this. You got ice cream, you got that Helvasi layer. Let's go ahead and try this out. Match made in heaven right there. What I like about this dessert is that it's more nutty than it is sweet. It's not really a very like sweet, sugary sort of dessert. Yes, the vanilla ice cream is a little bit sweet, but the Helvasi itself, it's a very nutty, semolina, like seedy flavor, very earthy flavor to it. And that accompanied with that cold ice cream is really, really good. In terms of flavor, you have those two compliments, but when it comes to temperature, that hot, warm Helvasi, which is literally cooking in this big pot. And you have that cold ice cream. That's just, that, that's just happiness in a bite right there. That is so, so good. Oh man. I mean, you have some Helvasi, have some Turkish tea. There is no better way to end any day, any meal here in Turkey with some delicious food and drink and wow. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up and then that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos and definitely hit that notification bell so you know when I will update new videos. I will say today, McDonald's, it's interesting to try here in Turkey, but I will say that I was a little bit disappointed by the variety that they had. I wish they had more items that brought out the uniqueness of Turkey, but instead they were copying more, I think, from the American menu than they were innovating here in Turkey. What an amazing way to end our day here in Turkey. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.